Alright guys, how's it going? So in here, and today we're back here with some more mana trials of mana. So we're on episode two now. We're going to try and find a way to get the beast warriors out of the town, I believe. Or we're just simply trying to gain access to the town. So it seems like we're heading towards the weapon shop at the minute. We don't need to upgrade our gear. Beastmen of Ferolia look like humans during the day, but at night they transform into animals. Don't leave the house after dark. You hear? Okay, so we're clearly going to be leaving the house after dark at some point. Hey, if you're trying to leave the city, night is actually best. Once the beastmen transform, they lose their better judgment. The whole lot of them tend to get together and brawl amongst themselves until dawn. It's easier to sneak out of the city then. Good luck. All right. Thank you for your assistance. Guards will thin out by then. Trained swordsman knows when to pick his battles. Alright, so we need to rest here until nightfall. Hey, if you're trying to leave the city, night is actually best. Okay. Oh, it's not here. I need to go outwards. That's fine. Alright, it's gonna rest up. Looking for a place to rest? No charge. Can't do business with these beastmen in town anyway. Alright, so they literally turn into werewolves at night time. Uh, escape jar. I should do that gladly. So we're gonna need to fight these guys if we get caught, I think. Where did Beastman went off to? They, soon, they left so suddenly. No idea. But let's get the hell out of here while we have the opportunity to. Alright, rap, rap Bite Forest are in now. So we've got a little some mushrooms doing and some more bunnies. So it seems like we're not actually dealing with these beasts just yet. It seems like we've got to leave them alone for now. Oh shit, I'm in battle. Alright, that fight went kind of well. Didn't realise I was actually fighting anyone there. Alright, so we need to be heading south. Well, it's been a little while since I played this game. So I can't really remember what our objective actually was. Couple wishes. Alright, there we go, we can jump. That's why I keep messing up the buttons, I can't exactly remember what they were. So it's kind of hard for me to get back into the routine of doing so. Alright, just getting a level up. Let's see what other stats we can upgrade. Not that one. Let's put it, okay, I've only got the one. We'll leave it for now, we'll save it until we get two. Alright, we need 218 to get to the next level, so you might not be seeing that for a little while. Alright, let's go around in a massive circle. I don't think I have. No, I haven't. I needed to come down this way and then go west. Alright, we're outside the cave. I blocked out for some reason. There's an invisible force blocking the way. Find a way to break the barrier. I'm gonna guess we're heading towards a town then of some sort. Alright, here we are. So where are we? Lakeside Town Astoria. Alright, so we need to find someone we can ask about to help us break the seal. Get an iron sword, which increases mine loads. Alright, got a much better sword. Our attack's gonna be much more effective. I unfortunately doubt though I'm gonna have much for armor. But it's worth a look anyway, just to see if we can get any. Alright, maybe not. Seems like the armor dude's falling asleep at the minute. But upgrades, dude's we got a new sword, even though we ain't got any more armor. Can you help me? Curses. I managed to get away from Jard. But now I'm stuck here because of the barrier. Now I'll never get home to Wendell. Take down the barrier? Hey buddy, you figure it out, let me know. We're gonna spend the night here, I guess. Finding the way home is impossible, is in, is a problem for the future me. You just sit the night here too. Maybe the barrier magically disappear overnight. You never know. I hardly doubt that. Alright, see if Fisherman Joe can help us. No one believes me, but I saw it. A 
strange light was floating over the lake. Maybe it'll appear tonight, too. Okay. But this is tonight, isn't it? So obviously I'm going to go to this other um, objective. And I'm going to guess it's going to link to that light eventually. If not, I'll rest until night to see what it's all about. You used to get through the Cascade Cavern to the east to get to the other side of the lake. Unfortunately, Windows closed it off to keep the city safe. Oh yeah, we're on the mission to find that why, aren't we? Why we were attacked by the Red Crimson Mage. Alright, so this is something we're resting for tonight. Alright, there's the light. It's like a little bubble of some sorts. You were told about this before the um, cutscene even happened. Why are you so surprised? Chase the strange light. I've got some seeds, so let's do that before we chase this light. Got an icon, Lux Serum, Ghost Eye, Chocolate. And it leveled up quite well. Organize your ring menu from the menu on item menu. Okay. Dog stat increases by one. And turns pie to the entrance, that's good to have. Revives a fainted ally. Okay, so a couple of bushes is actually a good thing. So is ally by 500 points. Alright, so candy and chocolate are actually quite good to have. My eyes aren't playing tricks on me. You saw the light too, didn't you? Well, I'll be. What? <sighs> the heck was that light? A monster? I doubt it's a Finally, monster. Something's happening in this town. Maybe that light will give me a proper fight. I don't want to cut him off there. Alright, so it seems like it's not heading towards the cave. It's heading towards the south, the western area. Alright, it seems like this light's taking us quite away from town. And every time we stop, it stops. So clearly trying to lead us to somewhere. Alright, so what you're trying to show is light. Uh, wherever it is, is over this ravine. So let's go and check it out and see if we can help us progress. Seems like a, some sort of um, grave. Oh, it's a fairy. Hey, hang in there. Uh, I, I'm all right. I'm a soldier from Valsena. The name's Duran. I saw the light from the inn in Astoria. I see. Oh, I have no other option. So I suppose you'll do. Hold on. What? Oh, never mind. You want to attach, his, attach you yourself to us a summer. Please. I need you to take me to the Priest of Light in Wendell. Okay, we're heading there anyway. I can't fly any further on my own. I mean, that's where I'm headed too, but there's a barrier around the cavern. We're stuck here until further notice. Sorry. I can get us through the barrier. But we need to hurry. Something has happened to the Sanctuary of Mana. The Sanctuary of Mana? Wait. Well, something big just happened. What's kicking off now? Whoa! What was that? It came from Astoria. I gotta go back. Oh, we need to get going. Let me rest inside you for a bit. You won't see me, but don't worry. I'm still here. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, what? <laughs> Don't delay. We must see to Astoria. Alright, shit, so we're heading back straight away. Oh, that's so weird. 
Hurry. <laughs> no way, I'll be creeped out on this as well. So I've only just left Astoria and now we're pretty much heading back straight away. I need to get stronger. Oh, that's why we were heading there. Oh yeah, I remember now. I forgot all about trying to switch classes. What's this demon thing? Apparently we don't know either just yet. Oh yeah, I'm an idiot at times. Of course, this is this Astoria, isn't it? We literally just saw the name of it not too long ago. Holy shit, what the fuck happened in this place within that short amount of time? What happened? Where is everyone? This looks like the work of beastmen. Those cowards! There is no time to waste. We have to get to the Priest of Light as soon as possible. Oh, Wendell is in danger. Well, shit, man. What's for the music in the background as well? I feel like fucking Sephiroth is about to show up. Got one candy. Let's make sure to try and get everything in this area before we leave. I'm also trying to see if there's any survivors, but it seems like no one is. But it doesn't mean everyone's dead. Because we don't really see any bodies either. Unless the game's not going to be that brutal. <laughs> Alright, it's no longer dilly dally. Let's head straight to Wendell as quickly as we can and stop these beastmen from wrecking havoc. Alright, so what are you going to do to get us through this cave? Who the fuck are you? Oh, it's one of my characters. I forgot your name though. Blocked. Oh, how about that? Hmm? Fairy can break the barrier. Oh! Light in the forest. Last night, I saw a bright light in the forest that was... Fairy? You are going to Windle. Me too. I need to go there. I've got to. You can experience the previous journey of your new companion, Kevin. Play through their past? You cannot save during the flashback chapter. Any items obtained during the flashback will be lost. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see what he's been through. May as well explore the game while we can. Don't know how long said flashback's gonna be though. Persecuted by humankind, beastmen were forced to live a life of seclusion in the dark woods of Duskmoon Forest. Oh, so it's pretty much starting us from their start. Okay. He became king. Under his rule, the beastmen banded together and created the kingdom of Ferolia. There he and his kin waited for a chance to get revenge on the humans who drove them into hiding. Well, 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 isn't his furry majesty himself? How do you do this fine, fine night? <laughs> ah, finally! The time is upon us, sire! With the coming shift in the world's mana power, now's the perfect opportunity for what? For us! All to get back at those nasty humans! <laughs> Do I know you? What the oh, hell's going on they here? They call me Gormand. Death Devourer. Our goals are the same, for I hate humankind as much as you do. May I offer you some unsolicited help? This guy's a fucking weirdo. Outsiders and help are unwelcome. Be gone. <laughs> no, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'll leave, but if you change your mind, my dark spells are always at your service. <laughs> mm. 
Wait. I'll give you one chance. Oh, I shan't waste it. Now then, tell me what you would have me do, and consider it done. Your majesty. <laughs> okay. This guy's a bit of a fucking weirdo, I know that much. Kevin was the one and only son of Ferolia's king. The young boy's human mother had long since abandoned her half-blood child, leaving him to be raised in the forest by the Beastmen. Due to his Spartan upbringing, Kevin never connected with others. He was raised as his father's successor and trained to fight from infancy, leaving little time for friendships. One night, the young prince came across a slain mother wolf and her living pup, Carl. Finding a true friend in the affectionate wolf, the boy's frozen heart began to thaw. <laughs> hey, sleep good? Huh? Carl? <laughs> what was that yip, Carl? Tiny, but still a wolf. Don't bark like a dog. Here, howl. Like this. Uh, we're alike. You and me. A little wolf who acts like a dog. A beast man with human blood in my veins. And neither of us have a mom. Don't worry. Carl. Got you. And I'll protect you. <laughs> since your mom can't now. No, that's sad, man. What are you growling at? G Carl, what's wrong? Carl's suddenly gone crazy. Because it's night time. They lose their instincts, don't they? Stop! Uh, body's is moving on its own. So he killed the pup. That's gonna be my guess of what happened. Yeah, he did. Fuck. No, 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 Carl, Carl. How did this happen? You killed him for one. But it seems like our little character here can't control his power yet. Or it's either all Unable the beast men simply can't. His beast man instincts, the boy transformed and attacked his only friend. Kevin made a grave by the flower patch they'd often visited. Racked with guilt, there he wept for his lost friend. So so sorry, Carl. I'm sorry.
Well, he's definitely had a harder life than Duran. Afterwards, Kevin didn't know how long he wandered the forest. Eventually, however, he made it back to the palace. But nothing was the same. Carl couldn't protect my friend. I couldn't stop myself. Beast man blood awakened. But why did I transform? Why? Why now? King might know something. Well, it's safe to say this kid has not had the best past so far. I knew the guy that was in Jard. He left with that weed fella that just showed up in the castle. Strange, huh? Well, I'm going to guess the king is going to die next. I don't trust that guy whatsoever. No, the king's here. We didn't go far then. The oh, it's not the king. The beastmen forces are hereby sent out to take over human settlements. Our first target is the holy city, Wendell. Yes, sir. Now's our chance to pay back the humans for what they've done. Once we take their precious holy city, we'll have already dealt a serious blow to those weaklings. They'll be shaking in their boots. Yeah. All right, so that's why they went that way. <laughs> Listen up, Kevin. We'll be taking Jad, then it's straight to Wendell. You hear that, princeling? Your old man picked me to lead the Beastmen to victory. He trusts me with his invasion plan, not you. How does it feel to be a waste of space, huh? <laughs> so he gets bullied quite a lot by, by the same race. Feel sorry for this guy, man. Where you want me? Want me back inside? Okay, go in here. Huh? I hear something through the wall. I know that voice. Hmm. Well done, Gormand. <laughs> it's an honor to fulfill the wishes of the king. Tell me, were you impressed by my dark magic, Ben? <laughs> Corrupting the will of a tiny pup. To attack my son is child's play. Holy shit. So no you're the one who did it. It induced Kevin's transformation as planned. With no more attachments to keep him from training, my son will become a weapon. I have no more need of you. Leave. Wait, what? Uh, uh, be reasonable, your majesty. Oh shit, now we're pissed. Just stop right there, Howard. Yes. Use that hatred I see in your eye. Bend it to your will and let it fuel your beastman power. <laughs> Never lose it. Boy, know your place. You called yourself Death Devourer, did you not? Oh, yes, indeed, Your Majesty. <laughs> I leave my son to you. Understood, sire. What, are you killing your own son now, or are you trying to train me? Fucking hell, you throw us off the cliff or something? We suddenly ended up outside.
Return to the palace? Alright, so I'm not going to give up that easily. So when we fight at night time, they will automatically transform into this beast thing. It's interesting to know. Alright, Kevin just gained to level 2. Not too sure what stats I need to be focusing on for this guy though. Mm, attack. And luck, maybe. Alright, before I actually put in these skills onto him, I'm going to look at the first episode just to make sure I'm putting him in the right place. So I'll save him up for now before I do anything. Is that even possible? Shh, listen. Ferolian forces are on their way to Windward as we speak. You need to find the Priest of Light who lives there. Why? Because he knows how to bring back the dead. You lie! So I wonder if everyone pretty much is going to just Wendell at some point. Like the face of a liar. You cannot wait. Luca's guards have already left. If you dally, they may do away with the priest before you arrive. Where's Wendell? Where? <laughs> it's this way, your highness. Why'd you walk like that? Must make for Mintus. It's just outside the Dusk Moon Forest. And from there, you can cross the sea to the city of Jad. Window is quite close to that location. Hmm? So okay. Dark or Ludger will have complete control of Window before you even arrive. Understand? Try to stay out of the sight. Okay? I'll do my best. I shouldn't be seen here with you either. I'll take my leave. Goodbye and good luck, young prince. So I don't know whether I trust you or not. You've been nice to me now, but Carl, you've been a bit weird. Wait for me. Priest of Light and Wendell will tell me how to bring you back. Still my best friend. Carl, that coward is no father. He must be the reason. Mom left me behind. Is she alive? I want to see her. Alright, so he's pretty much turned his back on his own race, more or less. Burned with hatred for his father and shame for the feral blood in his veins that made him deliver the final misguided blow to his only friend. As the Ferolian troops left the castle, the young prince was hot on their heels. He had to get to Wendell and ask the Priest of Light to bring Carl back to life. Kevin finished recounting the harrowing story of how they came to be on this journey. Monsters all over Cascade Cavern. But I can fight. Fight with you and help. Kevin. My name is Kevin. Alright, Kevin joined the party. We officially have our other teammate. So we got one of them now. We just need to meet the other one before long. Alright guys, just saved the game now, so before we carry on with the cavern, I'm going to be ending this episode here. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, I hope you leave a like on it, it really helps me out. That being said though, take care guys, thanks so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one.